Welcome to our video on the challenges of landing fighter jets on an aircraft carrier. Landing a plane on a moving target in the middle of the ocean is not an easy task, requiring incredible skill and precision. The aircraft carrier itself is constantly moving due to waves and wind, which makes it a difficult target to hit. In addition, an aircraft carrier runway is only about 300 feet long, compared to thousands of feet on a land-based runway. This means that pilots have very little margin for error. To make things even more difficult, fighter jets have to land on the aircraft carrier at a specific angle and speed in order to hook onto one of the carrier's arresting wires, which brings the plane to a stop. If the pilot comes in too fast or at the wrong angle, they risk overshooting the deck and crashing into the ocean. The landing process is made even more challenging by the fact that it often takes place at night or in poor weather conditions, which reduces visibility and makes it harder for pilots to judge their approach. To help with this difficult process, aircraft carriers are equipped with advanced landing systems that help guide the pilot onto the deck. These include the Fresnel Lens Landing System, which provides visual cues to the pilot, and the Precision Approach Radar, 
which helps the pilot to judge their distance and altitude. Despite these technological advances, landing a fighter jet on an aircraft carrier remains one of the most challenging tasks in aviation. It requires nerves of steel, lightning-fast reflexes, and the ability to make split-second decisions in high-pressure situations. Landing a fighter jet on an aircraft carrier is a true test of a pilot's skill and courage. Write in the comments which part of this video you like the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press on the like button and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Goodbye.